G'day YouTube, my name is Jeremy, I'm a first time poster, never recorded a video before, but um, I was prompted to make a video response, so I'll just chuck it out there, just after um, seeing all the responses on YouTube regarding the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, it's fucking heartbreaking, because um, offshore drilling has been a bad idea from the start, and everyone seems surprised that this sort of thing happened, but no, it's happened before, and it'll happen again, as long as all they give a fuck about is profit, you know, and um, this is ultimately, I think, um, just a result of the kind of system that the Western world lives in, you know, like, uh, just all about maintaining the profit margin and yada yada, you know, none of that's new information, but um, in Australia, we got it, I think, a day after it happened, um, page six of the news, some dickhead footy star was on the front that day, but um, at the time, no one seemed to react the way I felt they should be reacting. I can remember looking at the paper and just being like, Fuck, am I the only one who's... Is everyone else reading this or what? This is pretty big, man. But, no, nah, it didn't seem to be too much of a drama. You know, as always, the authorities will handle it, I'm sure. But, turns out, this time, the authorities didn't handle it. <laughs> and, now everything's fucked. Um, pretty much... They've, like, just poisoned the whole area completely. And not even um, to the point of being able to, like, fix it, man. This is, it's like, it's like a nuclear bomb. But they've only just decided that they're going to get, like, 6,000 plus barrels or something out of the ocean off, off the top layer by um, some new filtering technique. But the only reason they're even interested in doing that is because they've figured out that they can save a little bit of money and, like, cut their losses a bit, you know what I mean? This has nothing to do with the well-being of the environment. Like, to me, the important thing is getting the fucking oil out of the fucking water. But, <laughs> apparently that's not a priority for the company BP. But, um... There's a bunch of toxic sludge as well. Like, a shitload of fucking just silt and stuff. Because of the dispersant that's in the oil, it, um changes a bit and slightly dissociates in the water so that allows for the particles to bond with natural particles organic particles like mud and silt and what have you in the ocean but then that, that goes into the ecosystem and the few things that do survive are going to be feeling the effect of that for ages and that includes us man we're part of the fucking ecosystem like they act like it's oh yeah to be fair i'm sure like donald trump won't be eating you know fish full of magnesium or full of fucking radium traces or anything, but, um, the common man's gonna suffer because of this, you know, yeah, everyone's getting pretty riled up about it, and, like, getting real passionate, you know, just getting behind the environment, but I bet none of them are gonna stop driving cars or gonna, like, boycott the oil industry, but... To be fair, though, you really can't in this day and age. They've literally got you by the fucking balls. I say, just do what I do, man. Fucking get one of these. <laughs> get one of these. Learn how to ride it. Quit whinging about petrol. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking joking. Not everyone can ride a skateboard everywhere. I'm lucky I don't have the responsibilities of having a car and shit. But, yeah. It's kind of hypocritical what I hear of a lot of people. And a lot of the Americans that I've been talking to um, seem to only really be concerned about the fucking... The, what it's going to do to the price of petrol. Like, that's not... That's irrelevant, man. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. But, um, yeah, just... If you haven't already, maybe not many people in Australia have, but I'm sure people in America have, just have a look. Type in... Gulf of Mexico oil spill, and have a look at some of the shit that comes up, man, and tell me that's not fucking heartbreaking, like, yeah, if that doesn't make you want to throw a fucking Molotov cocktail, nothing will, <laughs> nah, um, yeah, there's been some interesting responses on here, spent a bit of time reading him and that, and, uh, yeah, I'll be sure to keep following it and see what other irresponsible moves the rich fat cats make next. Cheers.